Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So the plan for today is we're gonna go garage sales. We got two helpers in the back. We got Josiah, we got Jericho, and we're gonna try and go to some garage sales, but first we gotta go get some donuts, cause yeah. yeah, Jericho wants some donuts. So we're gonna go get some donuts. It is 7.49. The goal is to get to garage sales by eight. That's not gonna happen, but hey, that's part of garage selling with toddlers, right? Yep. Yep. Um, so we did some stuff to prepare this morning. What did we do? We brought snacks. We brought snacks. Did we figure out where the garage sales are? Not really. No, we brought <laughs> snacks. Because when you're garage selling with toddlers, that's what you do, you bring snacks. Um, we got some cash last night. We did try and look at some garage sales, but in our town, usually they post in the morning of, it is Friday morning, so we'll see what we can find. Hopefully it's a good Friday. What are you looking for today? Hats. I got 27 hats. I wanna have 30, because I'm gonna list hats on Monday. I'd like to find at least three hats. It's a pretty low bar. Yeah. What are you looking for? I'm looking for weights. Lifting some weights. She wants weights. Not necessarily to sell. Some weights to keep. Jericho, what do you want to find today? At the garage sale. You want to find anything? No. No? He doesn't want anything. He just wants a donut. You He's want kind a donut? Of focused. Yeah. A sprinkled donut. I don't really want a donut. But anyways, let's go get some donuts. Maybe hit a garage sale and then check in with you guys. Probably will not record at the sales because juggling two toddlers, so yay. Let's go. I got something for you, Jericho. We got donuts. Let's see what kind I got you. Let's look. I got you this one. This is the color they had. Whoa. Look at all those sprinkles. Oh, you want it? Donut one. Oh, it's so good. Sprinkle donut. <gasps> Josiah. Josiah. You want one too? Alright, we got donuts. With sprinkles. Yeah, with sprinkles. Now I got a twist. Alright, let's go. Hey guys, we're back. We just left the first sale and pretty good. What did we spend? Forty dollars? Yeah, pretty decent. We need to write that down. Um but I think it was really good. That sale was dirty. Yes, it and was. And they were pulling stuff out and we were digging through totes and yeah. there's a lot of stuff. What did we get? We got a bunch of 45s, maybe 150 of them? No. Would you say? Probably. Probably. Um, a PS1, no cords. Sega Genesis with no cords. A couple of like Mulan electronic banks. Three new in the package Barbies. You found hats. Oh, hats, yeah. How many hats? Three hats. Three is... hats. What do you want? That's what he wanted. That was the goal. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else did we get? We got, oh, two starter jackets, like late 80s, early 90s, Chicago Bulls, Charlotte Hornets. Bad condition, size small. So not the best, but. It's Those two will definitely make the money back. Two denim jackets, one Wrangler, one Levi's, both older. Those will be good. Some other miscellaneous clothes and some other miscellaneous toys. I didn't find any weights yet. No weights. But the boys got a toy. Did you get a toy, Jericho? Jericho, what? Hello. Oh, yeah, Josiah, did you get a ball? Yep. A ball and a microphone. Yeah. 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 Hello. So, so Hello. we're going to go on the hunt for another sale? Yes. There was one we drove by earlier, but they were not set up at all yet. I think we're going to. Swing back around there because it's right over here and see what happens. So, yeah. All right, let's go check it out. Hey guys, we're back. We are ending our garage sale day. We hit two more sales and they were a bust. A bust. A bust. So, we were just leaving the storage unit. We got all that, everything that sold the last two days, so that's good. Yep. We got, at least you found your hats. Found the hats. We actually found a lot of stuff at that one sale. It was definitely worth going out today. Even if the sales were slim picking and the boys are done. They are. And I'm honestly done as well because they are done. But anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. You should like it and subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you for coming along with our little family. 
Bye. All right, so we're back home now, and I've kind of sorted through everything. And I thought I'd just go over what we got for forty dollars real quickly. We'll just start over here. We do have Sega Genesis and PS One. I know these are dirty, but like they feel pretty good to me. The buttons feel nice. I feel like there's a decent chance these are going to work. My hopes are up for these. Genesis is pretty dirty though. I don't know. PS One though, not too bad. We will see if those work. Not a big deal if they do or not. Here we got a big old stack of records, all 45s. I'm guessing there's about 150 there, maybe. Who knows? I have not looked at all those yet. Some of them, the condition's not great. Some of them, they are. Probably a lot of those are going to go just in my craft lots, though. Should I get around $10 for 50 of them that way? Here's a Viking starter jacket. It is a size small, and it's like just kind of nasty. The condition on it is actually looking better here than it did. Other day, so we got just the little Vikings on the back, size small NFL. We got what is this guitars and Cadillacs, Kansas City, just some youth vintage shirt. I don't know, probably 10 or 12 bucks on that. Here's a Levi's, we're missing a size tag here. It says WPL413, I think. Not real sure there. Looks like about a medium to me, it's got a couple holes. I think that's the only hole. Collars a little worn. Not bad. Probably 80s. Here we got a Bulls. Felicia and I actually found these two Star Jacks at the same time in different bags. Felicia found the Bulls. I found the Vikings. Size small. It's got some issues here with this being torn. Not sure. Or something's missing there. I mean, it's just coming undone. You can look at that a little closer. See what the back looks like. Got the bull back there. A little bit of staining, unfortunately. That might come out in the wash. I'm going to send these to the wash, see what happens. One Wrangler. This is actually an XL. A little bit bigger. Probably about in the 80s, maybe 90s. We'll look at them a little bit closer later. Bundle 9, whatever that means. But some good looking stuff. Very happy with this. Are all very sellable right there. Very, very happy with that clothing. All that clothing, way more than paid for this. Many times over. Chicago, I believe this is 18, if I remember correctly. 18, not sure the value of that, but that disc was actually in good shape. These others, I haven't even looked at the disc. Harlow and Wilcox, these might be nothing. And the Okies, I was just looking for stuff that was either more popular, that worst case scenario will sell in my booth, or stuff that might be a little bit smaller run and maybe there's some demand for it puff the magic dragon and other favorite folk songs a little, a little bit of care bears action here yeah let's see we got two records in here actually is it even actually care bears it is that disc looks decent so those are okay picked up this pyrex it's got some issues with the paint of course Probably like $15 plus shipping, but then do I want to ship it? Maybe a local sell, I don't know. Oh, I mentioned the booth, people always ask. I have a vendor's booth where I put a lot of stuff, like different records that aren't worth listing online. That one might be, I don't know yet. Don't know the value of that, I've not looked it up. But I put a lot of music through there and different things like that. Here we got just a little breast cancer, heart hat, Charlotte Hornets. Fortunately, we do have some staining there. Hopefully this will clean up. This is a starter hat. That probably would have been a good hat. Mo for Victory Tour. Hustler Turf hat. Those all sell. And I had 27 hats already, so that puts me at 30. This game, I just did not realize what this was when I picked it up. I just thought, oh, an NES game and threw it in the pile. This is Ninja Gaiden 3. This is probably a $100 game. That label's really clean on it. Maybe $100 here. Haven't looked up the 8-tracks either yet. Roy Ayers Vibrations. Don't know. And the Olay's Family... OJ's Family Reunion. Probably nothing on there, but I don't find a lot of 8-tracks. So that's kind of cool. Disney Mix Max. I did look this up. I had a little bit of issues with the box up here, but... Maybe $15 like this. These Mulans, I'm guessing in this condition with these boxes torn up, 
35, 40 bucks a piece. Uh, we got this guy. This is like a knockoff Motu guy, Masters of the Universe, a fake one, but still seven to ten dollars for this guy. Pretty cool. Here are just the DVDs I picked up. I was looking for stuff that probably is not listed online. We got Mike Murdoch. We got several of those, which I'll probably just bundle those together. It looks like his stuff is selling it all. I don't know if it is. This is um, Bishop Charles Ellis. I've sold some of this stuff before. It can move. It's all low print, so there's not a lot of it out there. We've got three Barbies. This Easter one was doing the best. And then we got Sweetheart and Christy. Let's see what the numbers on these are. We got 18609. Let's just look down 23954 and 53458. Those are the numbers you're looking for on your Barbies. I usually stay away from the holiday edition Barbies, but some of these like 90s Barbies still in the package do pretty good. Little G.I. Joe walkie talkie. Probably $10 on this. I have no way of testing it since I only have one. Maybe if I put batteries in it. And it sounds like it's working. I might try it out. We'll see. This sells good, actually. I haven't even made sure it was the right tape yet. We shall see. Oh, there's a card in there? No, oh, there's a photograph. Okay. Regrets. Mommy Mania. One thing I'm looking for on VHS a lot of times is, is there any mold on there? And that one looks good. You can see some mold sometimes on these cassettes. Something to look out for. It's probably seven to ten dollars plus shipping on this. This is a wild card right here. Somebody has this listed for $250. It's the only one online. None sold in the last two years. But honestly, I think it's probably worth about $30 or $40 by looking at similar things. It's just somebody priced it at $250 because there was none available. I honestly think it's worth probably $30 or $40. Bucks. I'll probably price mine at $50, put on best offer, see what happens. That is everything we got today. $40 all in. Let me know how you think we did. Would you guys have spent $40 on all this? Would you have not? What's the, your favorite thing here? Yeah. See you guys later. Goodbye.